Today we're making peanut butter and jelly rice crispy treats. I'm gonna give you the ingredients for the full amount, which is usually in a pan like this. Out of this, you're gonna get about 12, at least 12, maybe if you cut it smaller, more, but you're gonna get at least 12 portions but what I'm doing for myself is gonna be a half size so I'm gonna tell you the full portions but I'm just gonna do half of it some of the things you need to make this video a little quicker six tablespoons of butter six cups of marshmallows the mini ones six cups of crispy rice rice krispies one teaspoon of vanilla extract, six tablespoons of jelly, I'm using the grape jelly, and six tablespoons of creamy peanut butter. This has to be creamy because we kinda wanna spread it. So those are pretty much all the ingredients. Let's whip it all together. To melt the marshmallow, you're gonna need a deep pot where you can mix everything together. And I'm gonna be using a silicone spatula because it's just better for the pot so i'm going to turn it on about medium medium heat and add in my butter once the butter is melted before it's starting to turn brown i'm gonna add the marshmallows nice and mix it a bit this all has to melt once this is halfway melted we'll add the vanilla extract and this is the glue to the crispy treats. Just keep stirring it so it doesn't melt to the bottom. You can see some got a little bit stuck in there, but that's okay. Just keep stirring it. It's starting to melt and come together. Okay, I'm gonna prepare the vanilla extract. There you go, and keep stirring. This is almost ready. Ooh, it smells good. Once this is all melted, I'm gonna turn off the heat, take this off from the heat, and add the Rice Krispies to it. This is almost done. I'm gonna turn off the heat. That's good. Now, I'm gonna take it off the heat and put it back where I was. So here I am with my marshmallow melt, and I'm gonna add the Rice crispy treats. in all of it. And mix gently. Make sure we get every little bit on the bottom. There's still a lot on the bottom. You want to make sure it's all in a web, basically. That's what it looks like. It's like a big web. Beautiful. I'm going to microwave the jelly for a few seconds. Now I'm going to add it into my... Rice Krispies, every little bit. And mix it with everything, gently. Just from the bottom. It's gonna also, gonna give it a nice color. You do have to be kinda quick with this. Okay, now I'm gonna put the peanut butter in the microwave. 10, 15 seconds. Here's my parchment paper, and I'm gonna put half of it in here. Just, yeah, half of it. And then just smush it down on the side so it's flat. I think next time I'm gonna try with sandwich sandwich uh, wrapper because it just goes down in the sides so much better pressing it down so everything sticks together here's my peanut butter oh it's not melted completely so I have to put it back here's my peanut butter and I'm just gonna go over it look at that gorgeous gonna get the remaining out we can help it by spreading it on top. See, this is another reason why I like silicone, because it cleans it out. But I have to be quick, so 
just spread it out on top it kind of gets everywhere eventually it will harden a little bit so don't worry if you think it's a little bit runny like that and now the remaining on top there's some on the bottom that already got cold and got stuck in there don't worry about it just get this one done and look at that i'm so excited press it down so it sticks all together this is gonna be so delicious i think we need a little garnish more peanut butter about a tablespoon melt it and we'll drizzle it on top peanut butter has been melted and i'm just gonna take the spoon and drizzle it on top i'll do this a few times and then you're gonna leave this for at least an hour and then in an hour see if it's ready if it's hardened up i'm saying at least an hour because it could be colder in your house or it could be warmer in your house it really depends if it's warm in your house it might take a little bit longer for it to set uh, you might need like two hours well that's fine and then we'll just come back to it cut it up in squares and then ready to eat so it's been more than two hours i kind of forgot about it but it's time to cut it and eat it's looking good it's solid i'm gonna get a big knife to cut it and we just want to do like squares like that kind of down with one big go so these are gonna be a little big but that's okay perfect oh it smells so good look how good that looks so good now i'm sure you noticed that i did not put marshmallows inside when i was mixing all together usually when you look at rice krispie treats recipe videos they also put whole mush marshmallows in it but i figured since we mix in the jelly that's so much sweetness plus the additional marshmallows it would just be way too sweet so that's why i skipped it if you want to put it in you're more than welcome to but look how gorgeous this is yum so excited it was so easy to make and it's no bake and pretty cheap too now let's hear the crunch and how it tastes look at that so so lovely mm. <laughs> that is insane it's just like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but crispy. I think I created something insane. This is so good. It is literally peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but crispy. So good. Mm. You have to try this. It's a creative idea to elevate the original peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So tasty, and I think kids will love it.